Welcome, Dr. Tessie Lovana, VP Global Public and Regulatory Affairs at Lilium. Um, my first question, or our first question in general, how can we maintain Europe's industry leadership while securing leadership in future technologies at the same time? I think it takes two things, actually. One is really to have an open eye for, for opportunities, actually. Um, and the other is maybe the courage that comes with that, and especially if you spot something and you want to implement it, um, then you, you, you just haven't take the courage. And mm -hmm. this is by entrepreneurs, so I think Europe is, is pretty strong on that front already, but this is also of course by political stakeholders and last but not least by investors, who in Europe tend to be a bit more reluctant actually compared to other places. I mean, of course an investor wants to see a business place, a, a business plan, but the question is, does an investor really have to see revenue flowing, for example, before she or he would invest? Um, and as a relatively new company uh, to the air industry, uh, which are the biggest political obstacles you have to tackle? You just touched that point a little bit, but maybe you can tell, tell us more. Exactly. I mean, and this is where Lilium is maybe a bit different than other eVTOL projects. eVTOL is electric vertical takeoff and landing. Um, we have actually designed the aircraft so that it fits as much as possible in existing regulatory frameworks. And that's a big advantage of us. Uh, at the moment. So we are certifying into an existing aircraft category um, that also allows for commercial flights. Others are aiming at, for example, ultra light, which is not viable for commercial operations, both in the US and in, and in Europe. The second thing is that we can afford, given the high utilization of the aircraft, that we will have you know, um, 12, 14 passengers per hour uh, per jet, um, we can afford to have a pilot on board. And of course, that's also a big, big difference to projects that are under pressure because of you know, lower payload and lower range mm -hmm. um, to take the pilot out, out as soon as possible. In the end, we will take the pilot out and it will be, it will be piloted differently, but not physically with the pilot uh, on board. But we are rather relaxed when it comes to this timeline. So actually, mm, I mean, I'm, I was actually very surprised to see how much enthusiasm there is with uh, politicians and regulators, also in Europe and, more importantly, how this enthusiasm also translates into you know, concrete results with, um, uh, with the working level. Interesting. Um, based on your experiences at McKinsey and & Company and also as, uh, at Lilium as a young company, um, what has to be done to create and grow more innovative startups in Europe? And it relates a bit to the first thing, so I think it's really to have uh, an open mindset for potential, for opportunities. Um, the other thing maybe is really also the kind of the team dynamic, right? Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've grown, you know, by several hundred percent now, year by year, mm -hmm. uh, and, and by now with more than 250 people in the team and a very international crowd, by the way, so about like 70% of our employees would be non-Germans, would be international. Uh, the team spirit to uphold it, the startup spirit to uphold it. Compared to other older and more experienced players um, of the air industry, like for example Airbus, what is the biggest, biggest advantage of Lilium concerning new technologies? So I think one of the big advantages is that we are designing from a blank sheet of paper, actually. So we are not a, a legacy player who wants to electrify a helicopter that is already out there or to make a car that is already out there fly or something, but we really designed and optimized for what is the perfect vehicle to achieve this mission with the on-demand air mobility at a price level that makes it affordable for everyone. And so we came up with a, with a aircraft kind of um, structural design that is in one way classic with the four wings but on the other hand of course revolutionary um, and and can take full advantage of all the developments that have been going on and are still going on in terms of battery technology, electrification, uh, sensor technology, um, etc. software, etc. etc. And what other ways than via its pure electric engine does Lilium leverage the potential of big data, artificial intelligence, VR and uh, other further technologies? Yeah, sure. Like, the beauty of the project really is that we are setting up everything completely newly, right? So we will be, we will be the OEM for the aircraft mm -hmm. and we are building this organization. We will be the airline and we are building this organization. We will be the maintenance organization and we are building this and we will be the app. So finally, um, where you can book it. And everything is being set up from scratch. And this is a huge advantage against everyone 
um, who's, who's, who's been around, right? If you take example of predictive maintenance, okay, there's a lot of potential if really the material, the aircraft, you know, tells you when something needs to be maintained, exchanged, whatever it is, uh, rather than the other way around where you would have to find out and then shift it from here to there and then it's not the material, not the right staff that is close to the aircraft, etc., etc. So legacy players, be it aviation, be it railroad, be it cars, whoever, you know, they have a big challenge to go from here where there's nothing in terms of predictive maintenance to a fleet that is then fully uh, predictive maintenance. We can basically build it from scratch and, and take full advantage of everything that's, that's out there, also data, also data driven and kind of feed it into our concept of operations from day one. All right. Wow. Um, and the last question, last but not least, um, what is your greatest wish for the future of Europe? I mean, personally, I think a, a, as unified as we know, or maybe a bit more unified, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, a bit more eVTOL related. Um, I think my dream would be that this takes off commercially f with a full utilization and bringing its potential mm -hmm. to a certain community for the first time in the heart of Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you.